Hi everybody, uh, this is the Rambling Toffee. Um, I thought, uh, like everybody else, I just want to talk about what happened yesterday. Um, absolutely fantastic result, something that I wasn't expecting. Um, in shock still. It just baffles me, you know, how we got that such a result against the Tide. That are challenging for Europe, playing wonderful football. I have so much respect for Brighton. Um... For what they're doing this season, especially for the size that they are, uh, the players that they got, you know, I, you know, everybody has said wonderful things about themselves, plus the manager, um, and I hope they continue to get in, uh, continue with their get the results that they want to to uh, get a European spot next season. So good luck for them. But yesterday, it it was all about Everton, um, the setup, the tactics, the formation, everything. That Sean Dyche put together uh, worked perfectly from from the get go, from the defensive, from the the strength of the defence, um, all the way through to the counter attacking. Everything was nailed on. Everything was perfect, um, and I'm still in shock. Um, at the moment, uh, I'm I'm suffering from something called the nerves disease, which is causing me to feel dizzy a lot, and I'm not that great today. Um, but at this precise moment, I just wanted to get this out there, what my my feelings about the game um, and how things might uh, pan out for the rest of the season. Um, if we play like that, commit like uh, make commit commit like that, um, uh, put the players put that type of fight, desire, determination, grit, and everything you want to into the next performance against Man City. Yes, it's going to be a tough one. Get the crowd behind you, Goodison. I think you know. You never know. You never know. They've got a big game tonight against Real Madrid, but you just you just never know. This is what this uh, wonderful Premier League is like. You just do not know what to expect. Um, but yesterday, I mean, from the setup, uh, from the team, bringing Yerry Mina in was absolute best thing that Sean Dyche had done. Um, keeping with Garner on the pitch uh, was a good, great decision as well. I just thought, um, out of the, you know, what can I think of? The counter-attacking from the get-go was just out of this world. And it's something that I've not seen in a long, long time. Uh, somebody put on Twitter, I think the last time, kind of a game that was very reminiscent was um, when we played Tottenham in the semi-final of the FA Cup in 95, where basically it was just, you know, the counter-attacking against a very good Tottenham team back then. Um, but today was wow. Um, yesterday was just so it, it it was just I just can't put it into words what I was feeling at that moment in time because I was just thinking this is not Everton, this is not where we're playing, this is not how we should be playing. What what's going on? Why 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 are we winning three nil at half time? What what's going on? And. For me, even at three nil, that three nil up, it was like Brighton are going to come back into this. Brighton are going to come back into this. We're still going to lose. We're still going to concede goals here because that's how our season's been. We defensively, we've been very, very poor in a lot, a lot of games, um, and it was expected. And then the second half came along. They they made the changes that they needed to do. They put more pressure on us, but. We we low blocked them. We basically made it harder and harder for them to get any kind of opportunity. And the opportunity that they did have, hey, who's there? Number one, England's number one, Jordan Pickford making some absolutely fantastic saves and just shows you how what a great goalkeeper he is. And if we do stay up this season, again he's going to be part of that. Uh, you know, part of the, the the reason why we stay up. Um, Yerry Mina coming in, as I said, help you know, just, you just know why he's our best defender. And it's just a shame that, you know, injuries have blighted his time at this football club. I just wish he could have, you know, been more consistent. We we, we would have been in a very different place. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not just putting Yerry Mina, Tarkovsky again, fantastic. Got uh, Patterson coming in. Getting better and better. He had the first 20 minutes where things were, um, you know, Matima was uh, basically in an inside and out of him.
but he came he came through, got stronger and stronger and got better. Mikolenko did a job. You know, that's all he can do defensively. He was every so often he was getting well, McAllister I think was getting past him a few times. But, you know, defensively we were strong through to Idrissa Gay who was putting out fires just in front of them, in front of the defence. Taking and Garner as well, putting his shift in as well. It was not his type of game. I thought, I thought it was uh, it was more a defensive game for him to do to get the ball, get him to Awobi and McNeil. Who, um, well, we saw what they would do. Awobi especially was really, really played really well at that point throughout the game. He was just uh, getting the ball, keeping the ball, doing the right things with it. And when he got any opportunities, he was making the right passes. And I was quite impressed with Awobi as well yesterday's perform uh, yesterday's performance. But um, Decore, well, I think he was like the, uh, the, the a striker next to uh, Calvert Lewin. He was just getting up there all the time, and his set that second goal was pff, wonderful volley from a player that sometimes when he gets an opportunity to shoot, doesn't always get them on target, and always always seems to hash them, you know, and make a hash of them, and you know Calvert Lewin. Wonderful perform, worked his socks off and did what we wanted for a striker all season. He was there, he was fit, he was hungry, he was fighting for everything and he was just doing what a number nine striker would do. So, for you know, again, a great performance. But I'm going to aim out this for the my man of the match from yesterday was uh, Dwight McNeil. Running, 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 running. That's all he did. He was running right up to the ninety fifth minute, and you know he got he's got his two goals. He could have had a hat trick if it if he, if the goalkeeper tried to save it and went in that way instead of it deflecting off him and going in the goal. But the two goals, his work rate was an amazing, and I think one mate continue, long mate to continue with him, and and you know. Let's, let's see what happens in the next three games. If we can play that way and show that kind of desire and commitment, I think, you know, I think we're going to be safe and we're going to be happy. Would I have said that before the game yesterday? No. My genuine fear and my feeling was we were going to go against a, um, a tough, great football team that are doing really well, well and I thought... We were going to lose 5-1. I genuinely thought that. My my thinking was when I was watching that game last night was just wait for it. When we went one up, I was thinking, well, it won't take long. They'll come back into this quite um, straight away. They'll get an equaliser. They'll come from behind. And this is all the negative thoughts and this is all the negative feelings that I have from this football club at this moment in, uh, before this game. But for most of the, for all of this season, it's just like, can we have a game like that where we can win quite convincingly and not feel like they're going to get a goal. They're going to come from behind. They're going to come back against us. I don't like that. And that that was what my feeling was throughout the first half. And even when we were 4-1 up, I think I still kept on thinking, oh, they'll find a way to come back. That was because I'm not used to seeing, despite the fact we were 4-1 up, and you would think, ah, oh, yes. I can rest now easy, I can enjoy watching this game and, and everything else about it and look forward, you know, to the aftermath after the match and every all the blues out there and really enjoying ourselves and especially, you know, the travelling fans who travel down there. I know John Blaney's there, um, went there and you know, and many of great Evertonians who've gone down there right behind them. You know, long may continue. Is is this is this a um, a blueprint? Is this a blueprint to where we can go? I don't know. Um, and the great thing is we don't have to talk about all the things that's going on behind the scenes and um, and everything else regarding that. We just think about the football because that's what it's all about. So yes, great five one, great result, great five one win. Um, I just hope it continues against City. I hope we can get something out of that game. If not, I mean, we've got Wolves away and then Bournemouth at home. They will be the pivotal games, um, which will indicate if we'll stay up or not. And But if we put that kind of commitment in, if we put that kind of fight in, then 
you know, I think we'll be fine. But um, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, on that note, um, this is hopefully be more uh, these 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 reports and you know talking about everything Everton. And as I say, it's a rambling toffee that I I go by because I just ramble on about all sorts of rubbish. Uh, that is Everton Football Club. Um, f feel free to drop any comments below. What you think of what my view is, what my opinion is. Um, I will do another uh, another blog after the City game, um, giving my view on that one, and so on and so forth. Um, and at the end of the day, let's uh, keep on going. So. Thanks for now. Um, I'll speak to you after uh, the next game. Thank you. Bye-bye.